Okay, staying with quarterbacks for this scout's take. I'm Tom Luganbill. We started off in the 2027 class, gave you a couple of guys there. 2026 class with Laird Finkel. Now we're going to give you what I really think is a sleeper in the 2025 class, a class that's coming right up. And it's a guy by the name of Gavin Parkhurst. He's out of Texas, Trinity Valley School in Fort Worth in the DFW area. And, you know, I often get asked the question, how do guys get overlooked? How do guys get bypassed? Well, the reality of the situation is, is there's over 1.2 million high school players playing each and every year in high school football. Um, you're going to sign roughly between 25 and 2,700 kids at the FBS level in, in each class. There's only so many coaches that can be out on the road at one time. So guess what? You can't be everywhere at once. And it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of good football players out there that might fall through the cracks and they fall either to the lower tier power five programs or a, a group of five program or even down to the FCS level. And now at the transfer portal, you have a great opportunity if you prove yourself and you develop to move up uh, if you're talented enough to do so. So let's uh, introduce you to Gavin Parkhurst, as I mentioned, um, playing a high level of football. He's got the measurable standard you're looking for, about six foot three, just under six foot three, around 200 pounds. Full disclosure, I have not seen him yet in person, but what I saw on tape really intrigued me. And one of my first set sentences in my evaluation was, this guy grows on you the more that you watch him. It's kind of a gunslinger, a riverboat gambler. I like guys that kind of have that feel to them. There's a, a moxie, a savvy, whatever adjective you want to use, but this guy can make all of the throws. He can create when things aren't perfect. He can extend plays. He's got a really strong arm, um, fairly consistent overall fundamentally with his mechanics. I think there's a lot of room for work uh, with his overall footwork in relationship to marrying his eyes with his feet to hopefully generate a little bit more consistent accuracy. So I think there's coachable things there that can improve, but Right now, he's just showing an offer from Incarnate Word, who's done an unbelievable job at the FCS level, as we know. I'm shocked that there aren't group of five schools all over this kid. I'm actually really surprised there aren't some, some power five schools all over this kid. Maybe it's not Texas. Maybe it's not Oklahoma. But maybe it's a Kansas State. It's a Kansas. It's a TCU. Um, I mentioned them being in, in Fort Worth. Um, very interesting kid uh, for me, and I want to keep track of him down the road. want you to take a look at him as well. Tell me what you think because he meets some, um, some measurable standards, checks some boxes, and I, I think he's a really, really productive football player. Let me know what you think. If you like this, give me a like, give me a follow, Instagram, TikTok, and I appreciate your time.